Homo Okay. So we started our journey with Home Assistant with this small box, which is Raspberry Pi 3. Which uh, only have one gigabyte of RAM, and that is second version that we use because we needed to get more memory. And recently I started experimenting with Mater, the new protocol. Ah, new protocol, right? So I get that. That is a little bigger than this, but still manageable. Here I have Core i6, no, Core i3, 6th generation processor. I have Wi Fi, I have 4 gigabytes of RAM. And it allowed me to use the Windows platform when I need it, or just Linux when I need to run my Docker containers. But today we face another issue. We need to store more images and pictures and videos, just like this one that you are looking at right now. So we needed a drive bigger than that. And actually, there is an issue with that, because well, you can get bigger SSDs, like this one, which is 500 gigs, or you could get a terabyte one. It's still not enough for what we have. So I decided we could go with even bigger one. This is Dell Precision workstation. And today we're turning it into our instance of Ubuntu server that will run our Docker containers and will run Home Assistant and also image that will process our photos because we don't want to spend money on the Google Photos, right? So come take a closer look at that. It's a strange box with a lot of mechanics, not your average PC. For some reason, they decided they want to do it fancy. And you can open it like that. Right, so uh, what I started with as a data storage I wanted to go with something small, but I could not get anything smaller than that, anything cheaper than that. Some of you might say, okay, you should have shocked a uh, Wurzen digital drive and get a drive, but the current prices for the drives is crazy. So this drive cost 10 bucks less than shocked drive, and I don't need to spend any time on Shocking it and also don't need to fix the 3 volt pin on the power header so that it works straight off the box. So that would be our storage. Internally, here we had four sticks of 4 gigabytes of RAM, which gives us 16 gigs of RAM, which is plenty enough for what we're doing, but in future we should increase it. Below here we have Core i7 processor, it's 8th generation, should be good enough and more adequate. We also have this quadro card with 5 gigabytes of RAM and it has unlimited threads to video encoding, which will help with Jellyfin and with image. And you might think I'm crazy for doing this, but that's 2026. Welcome to the new age. It's Western Digital 2 terabyte SSD, which cost about like three, four hundred dollars at the moment. But I bought it for one hundred in 2025. 
So what we do, we take this storage and we place it here in the system. So we need to take this screw and usually you don't have this screw, so bought yourself a set on AliExpress. It's like five bucks for 10 screws and standoffs and it's M2 screw, so you won't be able to buy it in Home Depot or some other place. Okay, so now we simply insert our storage drive like this. And we'll screw it down. Just like that. And you don't need to screw it down very tightly. It's good enough. At the moment I don't have any radiators. I would love to have something like this subrand, which is heavy and this drive becomes pretty hot when you move a lot of data because we use this drive as a backup for pictures, for videos, you know, like family archives. Okay, so now we install this graphics card. Connect the drives. Now we just close this box and hope for the best. Okay. And the top lid goes like this. So thank you for watching this small update on our home server and I will continue proceeding the Ubuntu installation and we'll show you our configuration with image, with gelatin, with everything else that will help us store our content at home at a reasonable price.